Welcome to episode 9 of Getting Down with GarageBand. In this episode, we are going to learn how to create an enhanced podcast. Let's start with the new project dialog. We can choose Podcast and click Create. Now we can see our template set up for our artwork and recordings. Since we've already looked at basic recording, let's start by looking at the options we have for our artwork. If we simply drag in a photo, we can see that a clip is created with a thumbnail to show us what the clip is. This can be a title card for the episode, or just an image that relates to our topic. If we look at the edit window, we can see that we are able to name the chapter and add a URL if we want. Simply double click these fields to add this information. If we want a picture to change at some point, we can move the playhead to that time and click add marker below. When we add a marker, this creates a new chapter in our podcast. These chapters work like chapters on a DVD, so the listener can easily skip through the podcast. If you want to add chapters, but keep the same picture through the entire program, simply add a marker and drag the same image you have been using into the new marker. To use an image that identifies the podcast in our iTunes playlist, we can drag a picture to the episode artwork frame here. Also, this image will appear any place you have no specific artwork selected. Let's start constructing a real podcast. I've recorded a brief voiceover to use, just to save us some time in this demonstration. You can record yours right into either of the vocal tracks that are available here. First, I want a little intro music to play. We can look through the jingles in the loop browser to find one that fits, or you can produce your own in GarageBand prior to constructing your podcast. I like this one, so I'll drag it into the jingles track here. You might have noticed some extra buttons on these tracks. These are the ducking controls. What ducking does is it lowers or ducks the volume of our music track every time there is a voice speaking on our vocal track. This is a great feature if you want background music throughout your podcast. A yellow arrow indicates this track will have its volume raised above any tracks with a blue arrow, which will have their volume lowered. You can enable or disable this feature under the control menu at the top. Now we have an intro to our piece, our podcast commentary, and some artwork. We can slide the pictures on the artwork track so they line up with what we are saying, the same way that we edit audio. Once everything is in place, we can share our podcast to iWeb for uploading or straight into our own iTunes collection. These steps can be used as well for creating a video podcast. GarageBand will simply replace our artwork track with a movie track that we can drag and drop our video into, the same way we did with our pictures. This is all we need to do to create our own enhanced podcast. Remember, there are 10 parts to this series, so stay tuned for more Getting Down with GarageBand.